Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth coming back to you, um, you know, today just with a new video. I just saw that, you know, Wardemaya and Miss Trudy just uploaded two videos back to back to back, you know, about the surprise. So I assume that, you know, probably this is the, you know, this is the just before the surprise. So I will react to Miss Trudy's video first, you know, and then I will most definitely, if you like this one, upload you know the one with Wardy Myers so on today's uh, video we're going to react to my Ghanaian boyfriend travel to Kenya to give me the sweetest surprise okay so if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for you know just support me just make sure you sub you know you subscribe you comment and of course you share with your friends and family and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend <laughs> so let's get straight into this video I'm gonna head to the airport because mm. uh, my boyfriend he told me he's sending me something. Okay. Uh, ben, what do you think is it? Is the package? Oh, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Ben knows that you know it's a surprise from Wardemeyer? Uh, what do you think? I think for Wardemeyer to pull surprises, he has to count on Ben. And so Ben has to play, you know, has to play along. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Oh, and Miss Trudy, your hair. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Really good. I've been trying to think. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo guys, when did you know all these African men become so romantic? When? When did it start? <laughs> when did it start for heaven's sake? I can see more and more men, African men being so romantic and doing beautiful things for their women. And it's so nice to see, you know, because we come from afar. You know, let's say things as they are. We come from very, very, very far, you know, where a man, you know, once, you know, he had the lady, then that was it, you know, that was it. So I'm so happy to see, you know, uh, what am I setting <laughs> setting the pace I would say and also just showing men it's okay to show your woman that you love them you know to surprise them and stuff like that it just keeps you know the couple running and just you know just spicing up things a little bit so it's really nice to see <laughs> she's so pretty Good morning! This looks like the morning. Hey guys, good morning. Mm. Oh my gosh. Man. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. I'm doing okay, you guys. Oh my goodness, sleeping with a beanie, that will just like... So, I love sleeping in a warm place, but with a beanie on, I mean, it will just like fly over or just, no, I can't, it's just too hot for me, especially when you have braids on. So I hope you didn't sleep with your beanie, Miss Trudy. Uh, yeah, mo maybe a bad hair day from what I saw, you know, in the intro. So <laughs> I hope so. It's just with you, girl, print now. Um, it's so cold in Nairobi, man. Mm. It's so cold. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to wake up. I don't want to leave my bed. Like, uh -uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh -uh. The way it's called in Nairobi, yeah. oh man, I prefer like to move to Kisumu or Mombasa. Mm. Only that well, it gets cold in Nairobi, but I think it's a little bit balanced compared to Kisumu. I've never been to Kisumu, but from what I know, uh, it's very hot in Kisumu and Mombasa is extremely hot. It takes me like a week to adapt to the weather in Mombasa a week you know at the least because it's just way too hot at least in Nairobi you can just you know just stay in your bed and you know in the duvet and just disappear in, in you know in your duvet but um I don't know I, I don't think I would like to live in an extremely hot you know place because it's it's just no I can't I like it when it's hot but not too hot so I think Nairobi is a good balance because you're in between <laughs> I, I think so that Nairobi is the capital city. Yet. I mm. wish it was hot like Mombasa or Kisumu. Anyway, it's a good day. I'm so happy to be alive. Mm. Yeah, so today it's going to be an interesting day. 
so I'm just yeah. gonna vlog through the video. So I'm sorry, guys. I keep posing, but I just love what she said. It's very important to be grateful every single morning when you wake up and just say thank you for. You know, I'm alive today, and so many people did not wake up to see the new day. So I agree with you. That is something that I do. It's just a simple act of. You know, just gratitude, I would say. So I always do it myself too when I wake up like, oh, I'm alive this morning. It's It seems silly, but this is something that um, I, I love doing, just appreciating the fact that I'm alive. What's, what's going down today? First of all, I want to take this hair off, okay? Ah. I've had this hair for like, I think three weeks. I think it's about time. Oh, three weeks. It's okay. It still looks okay. And by the way, I still want to try this color i don't know when or how or what let me know in the comment section below if you think i should try maybe i've never tried i've always always been attracted to this hair color but never really you know took the leap of faith so let me know i remove it so i'm gonna be removing this hair and then i'm gonna head to the airport because uh my boyfriend guys already know who my boyfriend is <laughs> oh she's so proud of her man like woohoo you know it's like everybody wants to everybody wants to to be seen with what am I? I let me tell you guys I started my YouTube channel on the 10th of May and the reason why because one of what am I is videos you know in South Sudan was suggested to me by YouTube and I was like who is this guy who is he I've never heard about him before so I did some you know I watched a few of his videos and then more and more videos have been suggested to me by youtube and i was like oh my goodness i should try and just react to these videos because i watched them so much that i thought it was about time that somebody actually reacted to you know african youtubers videos because i absolutely agree with you know uh, making africa great again and also just changing the african narrative so miss trudy i understand i understand you're with your boyfriend is somebody who's actually changing the African narrative. So you can be proud of him and he's most definitely proud of you because you're doing a great job as well. So the power couple, can we say this is like the the, the African power couple, our Jay-Z and, <laughs> and our Beyonce? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? told me he's sending me something okay yeah and i need to pick it up at the airport Aww. i didn't want to go at first little do you know that it's a surprise first, i was like you can just send a motorbike guy to pick it up for me but he insisted that i have to pick it up myself and um i think this is the is it the second or second or third time he's actually sending Aww. something Okay. through someone the other the last time was when he was in somalia he sent something through some a somalia a somali guy so it was a perfect scenario so i don't think she has no idea because this is something that wodemaya often does just sending parcels her way and you know just uh okay so she had no i understand why it, it was like the perfect time because he always does it so i see that that is just so romantic just thinking about because I imagine, you know, he travels a lot, so they can't always travel together. And I think um, he's very lucky to have a girl who understands that he has to go um, all around Africa and he has to meet so many people. And, you know, I feel that she really supports him because she understands his vision and she acts, she's in the same uh, in the same world as he is. So he, she absolutely understands um, you know her boyfriend so that support you just don't get it from anybody so I hope like you know you know I hope what am I you I think he's conscious of it because he looks to be like a very serious person and yeah so yeah I think they're they, they're really it's a perfect match actually so that's my two cents so yeah so yeah i just want to wake up get Aww. ready just remove my hair first oof i've had this hair it served me well but it's about time mm. we get the hair off i don't even think i'll have time to go to the salon i'm just gonna rush to the airport and maybe come back and go to the salon i was also supposed to do a very interesting video today okay damn i'm so excited about this video <laughs> but this person they cancelled oh asked me. okay so in my opinion, I think Wodemaya asked Ben to, to to cancel today's uh today's you know um, interview or what project that Trudy had 
because he knew that he was coming and probably because it was like an in-between because since Sudan I think they haven't seen each other you know he's been I've seen him in Sudan in Ethiopia right in Somalia and in Namibia where he spent um, a few weeks in Namibia so I think they haven't seen each other for such a long time so I assume that he wanted you know just to come see her uh, in between so oh this is so cute and I'm like damn so they're like let's try do it next weekend so I'm like okay fine mm. we'll do it next weekend but yeah. I was really looking forward to it <laughs> you know l- 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 let's do this let me undo my hair Ooh. about time Okay, so this is me. I'm actually um... Let me tell you guys, I no longer braid my hair. It's just a lot of time. A lot of time. I no longer do that. So, and since I discovered crochet braids, like this is my life. It just takes me like two hours to get my crochets done. Three at the most. So I no, I can no longer, I don't, I no longer have the patience to braid my hair. So Crochet braids, if you haven't tried, are the bomb and, you know, you have the same, you know, the same results, if not better, in my opinion. So, no, braids, it's a no for me. No. I'm doing my hair as I'm watching. So, there's this really dope series. I don't know if you guys can see this as well. Yep, that's better. So, as I was telling you guys, um, I'm watching a couple, I've been keeping up with a couple of series on YouTube. So, if you follow me on Instagram, I talked about it on my stories. There's Ready to Love. It's just about okay. black Americans looking for love. And it's just such a beautiful series. I love reality shows more than anything. So, because it's real, you know. So, I've been following it up. If you've watched it, please leave a comment and let me know. Another series. I've never watched it. Maybe I should look it up. That I actually saw Joanna Kinukia post in her stories and I decided to follow is um, <laughs> Blue Therapy. Oh my gosh, man, I'm following that thing like no one okay. can say. And then also, when I wake up in the morning, of course, first of all, I love listening to some motivation, you know, watch some TV checks, yeah. some Stephen Party, and then yeah, I start my day off. But since I'm just undoing my hair, I don't wanna, I can't stare at the wall, you get so I'm trying to keep myself busy. And of course, guys, some hot water. You know, guys, there is something that she has just said. It's listening to some motivation. It's very important to feed your mind. You know, the more you feed your mind with positive stuff, the more your day will start, you know, on the right foot. And, you know, just just routine things like, you know, just drinking water. Personally, I drink lemon water, hot water in the morning and also just listening to motivational stuff in my car um and so it really helps a lot and just it just helps you know that um everybody every successful person had to go through stuff and so it's it's not an easy journey it's a painful journey you know it will you will twist and turn and well you will fall multiple times but as long as you get back on your feet again, then that's what really counts. And it just helps you, you know, it just keeps you going and your brain, you just feed your brain with positive stuff and your day will absolutely, you know, be positive as well. So I agree with that. It's a good, it's good to have such, um, you know, a routine, healthy routine. Oh, I feel so refreshed. You know, right. it's hot. Yes. No, it's cold. It's just perfect. Usually, actually, most mornings they take hot water instead of tea. That's crazy, okay. right? Hey guys, <sighs> this is me about two hours later. Um, my hair is done. And the hair is looking so nice. You know, the curls are on point. On point. Love it. I love the hair. I was actually having a problem like I thought it was little but the hair was actually a lot so it took so much time I actually had to call for help and the house has came through for me I really thank her for that guys I was looking for my lip gloss I don't know where my lip glosses have gone you know mm. so anyway I decided to use this nude lipstick this is the best lipstick I've ever had it's nude and it's by Revlon it's just the best like look at me 
that looks so good, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, um, mm-hmm. it's already past 11. Ah, the agreement was I was supposed to leave the house past 11. I think it's 11, 11, 15. So I, I'm so scared of traffic. I know it's a Saturday, but then with these things, you never know. So I'm so scared. So, yeah, I'm trying to rush to the airport. I'm picking up Ben so we can go together. So, yeah. How do you guys like my look, by the way? So, I, because of time, it's I didn't really even nice. have time to comb my hair. But then I was like, yo, it doesn't look bad, actually. It looks good, mm-hmm. right? Leave a comment. Right. Let me know. I agree. I agree. I validate. 100%. It looks perfect. Perfect. The curls, everything are on point. Anyway, um, don't want to talk too much. And may I say the jewelry as well? It looks really nice, you know? Um, looks really, really nice. And I love the ring because we saw the ring, you know, while you were putting on the, you know, the lipstick. I prefer rings myself. I'm more of a ring person than, you know, necklaces or, but earrings, I like them, but, you know, just studs, you know, but that's all. Um, I'm not really a jewelry person, but um, I, I love everything, you know, the ring and just, I mean, invisible earrings. Now what are the strings there? What are they? Are they like the camera? No. What's that? What's that? My dad wants me to drop him. Okay. Somewhere. Okay. Oh, reversing is just <laughs> tricky, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting better. Mm. Oh yeah, but I understand. I understand hundred percent. I know my car. I have the beep beep, you know, behind it. You know, if you ha- you're about to hit something, but uh, yeah, reverse it is never like the the best thing. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but she looks really scared doing it. Okay. This makes perfect. Right. So this cloth that, that I'm wearing was actually a gift from my cousin. She's called Shiro Chow. I think I look so good. I think I'm gonna do an outfit whatever for you guys when I'm standing up so you guys can get the whole idea. Oh yeah. Hi daddy. Hello. Okay. Seatbelts. I'm saying seat belt on. <laughs> I think you heard right. I think you know your dad doesn't want to wear the seat belt. For what reason? I have no idea, you know, but I guess he just doesn't want to wear the seat belt, you know. I'm saying no because I'm desperate. I'm saying no. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I, I do, yeah, of course, and it's like, yeah, I said no, no, I said no, okay, so you have to listen to your dad, and this is just like the typical African dad, like, you have nothing to tell me, my daughter, you know, just, yeah, I'll do it my way, you know, and I guess she will just, she will just say, okay, but guys, be very careful, because most accidents actually happen short distance when we, we you know, when we know very well you know, our home area. So we are less attentive on the road and accidents can happen anywhere in between you, your house and the supermarket. Things really can, you know, can really change in, in a split of a second. So no, you should always, always wear your seatbelt. So Baba Trudy, please, always wear your seatbelt. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, Ben likes your hair. You know, you look you look like twins now. <laughs> you look like twins. Ini noma. Nyoele. Wow. Ulifanya aje? Lini? Hiyo menstruation. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you feel me? I didn't even know you. Wow. Are, but you know I haven't even washed my hair though. Guys, I wanted to fuel here, but hey, I'm scared we're already late. Cars are parked, so it's like okay, mm-hmm. 
exactly what are they saying? Yeah, I haven't even washed my hair. I just removed the hair that I had on. My hair but is mine, dirty. Mine, when I untwist and wash it, it, it breaks. Mm. Like, it swells. So, if you are on this stage, you should not wash it. Mm-hmm. But it's dirty though. Now you can wash when you want to twist again. Ah. It's like fresh. Okay. Ben the hairstylist. I mean, this guy is good at everything. Recording, editing, hair. What else? I mean, Ben. <laughs> what else do you know what to do? I mean, how to do it, you know? So you're talking hair. You can talk anything about anything. So it's nice. It's nice. I can't believe I'm the one giving this advice. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love this guy. I love his phrase. He always comes out with like with a new phrase, you know. The other time was humility has left the chat. Oh my goodness. Uh, he's so funny. He's just so funny. How was your day? How are you? Fine, how are you? Nice jumpsuit. Thank you. I remember Thanks it. to my cousin. Yeah. yeah. You know. Job yes, guys, and if you, if you haven't watched my reaction videos to when Trudy was in Kirinyaga, you know, she spent her day with her grandmother, she surprised her grandmother. Make sure you go back to the videos and watch them. That guy is delivering, then he ended. Eh? That's why you're rushing. Yeah. Oi. Why are you better wondering? I'm wondering, Sana. Like, ben, for some reason, I feel you know you. Oh, yeah. I think we saw it in the intro. Yeah. You knew all along. Is that serious? You've told them. Yeah, I just told them I'm going for a package, you guys. Like I told you, man, mm. he's dropping me a package. Hey, hello, hey. Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> I look for impromptu stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't expect, don't expect such a glow. They look good, huh? In other words. Yeah, they look good, yeah. Guys, they will let me know. I was given by the company. You remember the company? Yeah. Oh! Okay, this mm-hmm. is how guys feel when they wear rings. I feel like I'm engaged. You know, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a grown woman. You feel like you're old. Like, you know, right. this is just mine. Just, I'm, I own myself. And then is this thing the Hey, what the Maya, you heard that. She owns herself. So, put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. No pressure, but just saying. Just saying. Ring, <laughs> hand. Hey, well, today you look bossy bossy. Right. There was something about the look today. I know, right? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you guys the look well when you get to the airport. When I step out. <sighs> It's a freaking Saturday. Where is traffic coming from? But you know, traffic on Mombasa Road is no joke. Traffic on Mombasa Road never go thinking you have time. I mean, you never have enough time when you're on Mombasa Road. It's always heavily packed, be it a Saturday or Sunday. Well, probably Sundays are better, but yeah, all the time, always traffic. Mm-mm. The devil is a liar, as in the devil is a freaking liar. Like it's... What are you? What, what the hell is this? That is Trudy's new word. She likes saying when she was on her way to Kirinyaga, she would say that the devil is a liar. Or, yeah, you know, always when something good is about to happen, there's always some hicks. I mean, it has to be. You have to deserve the prize. You know, the puzzle. You know, you have to. You know, to deserve it. That's all. That's all. It's now. <laughs> what guys? It's not even lunchtime yet. It's eleven something, and there's traffic. What, since when? On a Saturday. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Are you lost? We are lost, man. Ah. So, this means we're gonna be late. This is so annoying. <laughs> So the thing is, whenever I'm going to the airport, I usually don't drive. I'm driven because they're taking me. You know, so my brother... Turn right, me. then turn left. I'm usually not keen. Plus, there's a lot of construction going on. Yeah, here. this is a, what we call the passenger syndrome. <laughs> That's how I call it. So that means that when you're being driven, you never look at where the driver is passing through or what's you know a landmark because you know we always like check for landmarks just to tell us oh i have to turn there no we just 
I mean, we, just like we have eyes closed and we just go. So I understand 100%. I'm the same. When someone is driving, I never check. It's not my problem, you know, so I understand. So if you're tra driving to the airport for the first time by yourself, of course, it looks tricky. So it doesn't help. So it's just like... Mm -hmm. Now you have to go back. Find fewer, we waste the time, but it's life happens, right? Yeah. So that person doesn't get tired. Mm. Right? Think that's what Imagine it's a no, like, uh, uh, we've never been stuck in traffic like this before. Oh, she's glowing. She's glowing. She's looking so good. Like, where is this coming from? It's a freaking Saturday. I'm feeling so hot. I'm starting to sweat. Yo, it's like, uh, uh hey. Hey, it's only lunchtime and it's a Saturday. We didn't expect this traffic. We didn't see this coming. I feel so uncomfortable. The sun is extremely hot. When I open the window, I can feel the sun on my skin. Mm -hmm. When I close the window, it's hard to breathe because of the heat. It's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Look at me sweating. <laughs> I don't understand. What's going on? Man? It's a construction on the road. It's in the road. Oh, there's another accident. Oh. Guys, we're finally at GTIA. This has been crazy, you guys. We are late because the traffic was insane and it's a Saturday. We didn't and oh my guys, I remember the last time I went to JK. It's a process. Any passenger has to get out of the car. You have to be checked. They have to check the car, the boot, this and that and this and that. Well, it's for our security. Yeah, for a fact. I mean, it's a good thing. But it's so tedious and just ugh, it's annoying and i think when you have like uh i think when tra when traveling goes back to normal you have so many people like at the checkpoint and the the process is very long so pff, crazy expect it but anyway it is what it is the final he actually texted me to tell the guy to wait because i was you know i was just getting late so you're supposed to alight here. Yeah. Ah, you see. Go, I'll see you on the other side. Okay. This guy sleeps. So I've never met a guy who sleeps like Ben. Wow. Uh -huh. You sleep. He's tired. He's tired. He's always filming, editing. I don't even know if if he has like free time or something. I I wonder how they organize, you know, for them to to have some time off and and for Ben as well to have some time off. So I guess every second uh, for him is an opportunity to, to, not, to have a rest. And yeah, <laughs> I tried. I tried defending you, Ben. That's all. Every freaking second. When he's not doing nothing, if he's not shooting or editing, he's sleeping. No, no. <laughs> ben. Guys, I just checked in into the airport i thought it's gonna be you know a hectic process because sometimes these police guys are just hectic however it was it went smoothly they just checked my car and were like hey how are you doing proceed and i was like oh thank god because i didn't have time for you know yeah. just waiting for ben to come back to the car because whenever you get to the airport all passengers must alight all go right. get checked and then come back to the car yeah. i'm freaking out a little because i'm like i really hope this guy hasn't gone i hope the flight was late am i making sense I don't know. So guys, I need to shout out the guys who have given me this jewelry. Oh man, this, the chain, the ring, the watch, the bracelet. <laughs> oh, it's bracelet. Oh yeah, it's here. <laughs> bracelet um, and the earrings. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. I think these things are so adorable. So if you wanna get yourself or someone you love this, and you have oily skin, and I'm from the shower, I'm usually just too dry. Give me like 30 minutes later, mm -hmm. the way I get oily. Oh yeah, but your skin is glowing. Your skin is just glowing. It's not dried or it doesn't look oily. Um, no, no, really nice. It's not even like a show you guys. Let's go! International arrivals. Okay, I'm walking there. Yeah, I'm walking there. Tell him to just chill. I'm so sorry I'm late. There was traffic. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Babe, yeah. what is he dressed like? How will I know who it is? Okay, just hang up. Oh, you know. 
Oh, ben, what do you think is it? Is it package? I've been trying to think. <laughs> like, I wonder what is this that has to be taken so urgently, you know? I don't know. I, I, me, I think it's just your fun. And I was like, ah, oh, take this to her. Yeah. As you, as as, you meet her. As you meet her, yeah. Okay, let's go and find out. Guys, I was supposed to show you guys my outfit of the day. This is how it looks like. Yeah. Oh, you're looking so good. I love it. I mean, your cousin chose pretty well. It really fits you correctly. Really good. Thanks to my cousin. Shout out to you. You're simply the best. What do you guys think of this outfit? So let me turn to you guys, okay? This one is Okay, so this one is the best. Thank you so much. Natural hair. I feel so good. Like, I feel like I'm in my element. Yeah. Anyway, plus the jewelry, you guys. Are you feeling the jewelry? Mm. And you don't want to talk too much because I'm, I'm keeping someone waiting. <laughs> See, yeah, other... she forgot for a second that someone was waiting for her. Okay, so yeah. A few moments later. <laughs> I told you guys, I knew, I knew it. I mean, it's the only way for Wodemeyer to, you know, because he knows that they're 24-7 together. So, I mean, who else other than Ben, you know, to make it a success, you know? Are you serious? This is the second time you're doing this to me. Hustle has arrived. And I am hundred percent sure so like, oh the kids and all yeah, just leave them alone. I mean it's life. It's live, so just leave them alone. I, I already see it coming, you know. So, I mean, it's they're in love, so let them be, okay? So, oh, this is a big puzzle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> ben, I hope Ben did not tell you. She's even shocked that I, that I, that I knew you were coming right now. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I was telling Ben. You know, telling me maybe it's your fan. <laughs> so you gave me fun the package to bring. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Kenya. Oh, she looks so happy. Oh my goodness. It's a good surprise. Oh, you guys, um, the airport has really changed. I remember already back in the days it was, you know, under construction with the different parking spaces after the terrorist attack and now it has completely changed. It looks amazing. It really looks really cute, clean, beautiful. Wow, I love it. And you see the underground parking lot didn't exist when um, it was still under construction, you know. So, I mean, they've done amazing things at the airport. It really looks, you know, very cool. So, good job. Oh, oh no, 
surprise. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. So, so what were you thinking I was doing in Namibia all this while? I spent so much time because of you, babe. Please. Yeah. I should have been in Ghana by now. Oh. Yeah, so I was just asking when is she leaving Kisumu, Kisumu. And I'm like, after Kisumu, where are you going? You said you're going to Mombasa. And I'm like, how long are you going to stay in Nairobi? And it's like a week. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's go buy the ticket. So, you know, he told me I just bought my ticket. And, uh, For real? Oh, that was so sweet. Oh. I can't believe you're coming. Okay, okay guys. So, finally, yeah. I can't believe it. Finally. Yo, I didn't, I really didn't expect you to come. Come on. I didn't, I didn't see it happening. Yeah, I know, I know you were not expecting anything, but I'm full of surprises. <laughs> they look so in love. Just, um, just a quick question, because I know the, you know, the true Maya are so, that's how you call them now. Uh, the true Maya gang, do you know when they met, how they met, how old are they? Um, and how long have they been dating actually just to know because they're just glowing and there's so much uh, Love in the air. So just let me know in the comment section below if you know And Ben, ben is fired. I'm done with that guy <laughs> like, how we... No way. He's the best in the game. Like he's the best in the game. I told you guys this guy is so talented He's so young so I feel that no, you would never in a thousand years uh, let him go. I don't think so. That's why I had to come because I felt like you know I I've been to so many countries. I was in South Sudan. Mm -hmm. Went to Ethiopia, Jeb Jeb. I went to Somalia. I went to Somalia and then Namibia. Five countries without him. So I just felt like you know what I'm so tired. I was supposed to go to Zimbabwe. We were supposed to meet in Zimbabwe, but right. you know, I'm like, I'm tired. And I got a lot of meetings in Ghana, and man is waiting for me, and I can't just go to Ghana at the same time, you know. So, I decided not to tell her, I just wanted to just um, book that flight to get out of the crew and get out of the Thank you for coming. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's the best surprise. Oh no, that is so cute. He had to calculate everything. He wanted, you know, the surprise to be perfect, you know, and just see her before he traveled to Ghana. Oh, so cute. I, I, Eva. I'm the person, huh? <laughs> Thank you. I'm the person. She was expecting a big person. I'm like, oh, what person do you want? Yeah, right. What were you expecting? It's like, um, I don't think it's a fun because I have the best fun in the world. Yeah, like it's iPhone 12. Okay, that's it. Wait, me, guys. You recorded that. You recorded that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, no, mommy, it's been so long. Bring your fire. How could you do that to me? I trusted you with my life. How could you do that to me, Ben? I'm trusting you. No, surely. In case you're wondering, this is what happened. That is how. I told you, I told you, no way, no way. No, no, no. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> eh? you see, every day, I'm tired. Every day, throwing a pizza. Every day, guys, why are you doing that? I've never even told you to throw that food. I've never done it before. The only pizza I've ever ordered was your birthday. Oh, you ordered pizza for her? Oh guys, oh my goodness, so nice to see this first one. So guys, if you want to watch the second one, let me know in the comment section below. And so I will most definitely react to uh, the one Wodemaya, you know, just did. So it must, it's the second part of this one. So thank you so much for watching and yeah, make sure you subscribe. And of course, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And so until next time, guys, bye.